Hi, I'm Jacques Pepin, and I'm cooking at home. Today I want to show you how to make couscous. And couscous, you know, is a semolina. It's, a, it's wheat, regular wheat, which is granulated. And you can buy it uncooked, but usually it comes pre-cooked. So you cover it with boiling water or stock, and that's it. So it's very easy to do, but I want to show you how to do a vegetable couscous here. And what I have, I'm going to put a tablespoon of uh, butter here and about a tablespoon of uh, olive oil. I have half a cup of onion in there. Okay, I have a couple of, uh, of mushroom here. Two, three mushroom. Coarsely chopped. Which is also going about half a cup. Cook all the vegetables for a minute or so. Then I'll put tomato. I have one tomato cut into cube. Probably would have enough with this, but I don't want to waste it. I'll put the whole tomato in it. With probably a, one cup of tomato. Cook the vegetable. Let's say two two cup loose of spinach, baby spinach. That melts to nothing like a container like this. It's five ounces. I didn't even take half of it. And I think I can add my tomato. So frankly, you can have any vegetable you want. So here is the couscous here. I have a cup of couscous here. Usually you put about the same amount of liquid in it. Since I have a little bit of that, I may put three quarter of a cup of chicken stock. Should I put salt? And I want to let it cook another three, four minutes because remember, when I mix the couscous in it, the boiling stock, I cover it, leave it on the side. See, there's no more cooking. All right. I think my vegetables are cooked enough here. I'll mix my couscous in it. Shut the heat up. Mix the couscous. And I have three quarters of a cup of boiling stock here. I'm going to add to it. Should we take one? That's it. Cover it, five minutes, that's it. This is it. As you see, it's a bit different this way, but so what you have to do is what we call aigronné in France to fluff it. Make it fluffy. Yeah. Well, as you can see, with one cup, one cup of couscous, I do quite a lot. So, of course, this would be a, a great garnish for a, for a roast chicken to fish. It doesn't stick at all. So, so this is it. Mm, good. And what I want to show you, you know, when I have, when I do a puree, of potato, a puree of other thing, rice, uh, pasta sometime, all this. When I have any leftover, which I often do, this is what I do for lunch the day after. So let's say this is leftover. So I have a bunch of those whoop, leftover here. I do it this way. I create a, a nest here. Of course, at that point, it's a bit different because the mixture is cold. Yes. And I put an egg in the middle of it in my lunch. On top of that, a little bit of a Gruyere cheese, you know. Maybe a dash of a hot sauce. A few drops. Or even maybe a bit of herb if I have it here. Cover it. Always cover it with the with paper towel, you know, and uh, in the microwave for a minute. Okay, I end up putting it two or three times. I put it on one minute, I put it on another 20 seconds, and then another 15, 20 seconds. So this is the way 
I like it here, the whites are set and the yolk is still quite liquid as you see. This is the way I like it, the way my wife likes it. So, I hope you make that couscous. I'm sure you'll enjoy it and happy cooking.